Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to develop an analytical map using SAP UI5. So you will need to have some basic knowledge of JavaScript so that you can create JSON objects that will be used to create or edit something over the map. And then you will need to have basic knowledge of SAP UI5. And certainly you will need IDE access. It can be business application studio or it can be web IDE. So before jumping into the actual coding part, we have also written an article for you. The article link will be shared in the description of the video. In this article, we have covered all the theoretical aspect where we have discussed what exactly is an analytical map and how exactly to use in SAP UI5, you know, all the use cases. And also we mentioned the code that we are going to actually develop in this particular video. And also we have added the screenshot of the output. So certainly SAP provides their own visualization methods. There are multiple ways. They have geospatial mapping. They have analytical mapping. They even give options to integrate Google Maps. So all those things are done under this best practices provided by SAP. So we'll share this link also in the description so that you can read and explore more in terms of you know how exactly the elements and components should be integrated. Also for the analytical part, they have a component here which we are going to use in that they have covered different aspects like adding a label, adding spots, adding circles, you know, making an area visualized like a country or India and Germany can be visualized over there and under different more aspects. So in our particular example, if you can see this is the output. What we have created is like a map. This analytical map is integrated. And then we have added two different spots. And on click of those spots, you can perform some operations. So this can be used. Suppose you are going to create a map where you can show ESG reporting percentage or cities where or towns where you can find EV charging spots. So those things you can map using this spot feature on an map, analytical map, right? So we can now jump into the coding part. So the coding is very simple. What we have done is like we have created a simple page and given this particular title, right? So if you can see, this is the title. And then we have used something called layout structure and we have created a simple layout. That's it. That are the thing we have done from a view part. The coding part is majorly focused upon the controller where we are creating something called analytical map and spot. So for that, we need something called SAP UI library. And within that, we have VBM library sections. And within that only, a lot of features are there for the map. So SAP UI5 has its own lifecycle methods. One of them is on init. So whenever the application loads, the first thing that is triggered is on init. So whatever code is written, it will be triggered automatically when the UI will load out. So in that you can see we have created a new analytical map given a width of 100% and this map we have set into the layout that we have created in the view. So if I go back to the view, you will see a vertical layout is there with a ID as map container. This ID is fetched here and we have added content of a map view. Same thing we can also do via view. So this is also one way. So once the view is set like this, so let me just, you know, comment other sections like this, save it out and refresh. So you see a map is created. So simple map is created using this particular line of code and we have added the content. Now the next part is like we are creating spots. So we have created two spots as of now. So spot one is having these four properties. Position, we can take the position as latitude and longitude. Then we have tooltip. Tooltip is something that comes, uh, uh, you know, when you hover over, you know, when, whenever you hover over a particular spot. And then we have type. Type is something that you use in buttons also, right? Success, inactive, or uh, warning, something like that. And text. 
text to showcase what exactly you are trying to. So as of now, I'm trying to showcase the city's name. That's it. So like this, we have created two spots, and then I have created a spot object. So it is called VM spots. So within the spot, we have all the features. Now these spots are transferred into spots as an array, like this. And then these spots are added in the map, like this. This is the way that you actually create a particular spot. So apart from that, you can explore more features provided by SAP UI5. But this is the basic way to integrate an analytical map, add a spot as per your requirement. Like I will change the spot Delhi to Noida. Noida and Delhi are almost uh, very close to each other. Save it out and refresh here. So you will see that we have covered a map application and we can do whatever we want in terms of spot adding, in terms of mapping a particular area and all other features. So in case you want another video where we can discuss other features of analytical map, you can ping that in the comment section and we'll look into it that. So I believe you have learned something new today. Thank you for watching.